Okay, City Slicker um, intro is bass essentially with um, Justin doing some, uh, I think, cymbal swells and stuff. And um, you'll have to kind of practice it. It's always a little bit weird kind of coming in on the first um, beat, but there's a drum fill um, that Justin will do, I think, just like the last uh, beat of the, of the intro and then doom, 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 and then you come in. And, and the A part, um, I always use the phaser and then I'm playing basically these small chord shapes. So the A minor I'm playing in this shape, um, you know, top string, uh, eighth fret, third string, ninth fret, second string, 10th fret. The, D minor shape up here, down here. So I, I strum it, and then it's hitting the first string, and then the third string. So it's right. Strum, first string, third string, and then the same pattern you play. I, I play it with the F here, F major, um, which is just like the D major shape here, right? So like fifth string, sixth string, fifth string, that F. Same thing, strum it, top string, third string. So it's... That's basically it. I found that's the easiest for me to play it. Easiest place. Um, that's kind of how we recorded it. Um, that three times. And then the G, I actually play like this G shape. I guess it would be like the C open chord shape, um, barring the seventh fret. Actually, I'm not using my pinky, so it's actually like an E minor seven, I guess. Um, I'm doing an arpeggio, like, so that kind of E minor shape, um, or, or the G with the pinky up here, um, like top string, just kind of going like top string. Two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I think is how I record it. I don't know, but sometimes I kind of just play that differently, not always the same way. And then, then I just play the E seven here, so it's really easy to go from. When I play the E seven, I kind of do the whole arpeggio going. I guess you know, low to high, right? That E seven there. So the last one would be like A minor. Right. And then um, the second part of it's the same thing, A, F, and then D, which I play here. Again, just kind of doing an arpeggio and then sliding it up to the E7. So it's the same ending. So it's just A minor, F, D, Slide up to that E7. Um, and that's one time through the A part. And then the B, so then I, I turn off the phaser for the B part. Um, and the B part is just C, E7, F, that rhythm. Or sometimes I'll play the C here. So it's C, again, that E7, I'm playing like that. And then F major. Or, you know, and let it ring on that last one. C, E7, F, so E7 twice. Oops. Let it ring. And then that does it three times. And then after the third one, then I strum, I go from holding that F, strum the F minor. You know, same, same fret, just going to minor. So the last one would be like this. And then strum the F minor. This is where I turn on the phaser now. And then um, the riff that everyone plays is just the F minor kind of arpeggio, or I guess F minor scale. It's so it's eighth fret, ninth on the second string, eighth on the second string, tenth on the third string. It's kind of walking down the F minor scale. 
And that, and that, goes, that then goes easily back into the A, right? So it's like... Your fingers are already right there for the A minor, so works pretty easily. Um, that's pretty much it. It does that three times. For so long, I would always think there was two, like A, B, A, B, and then it would go into the C part, and it just took me forever to realize we're doing it three times. <laughs> so it always fucks me up, but um, that's why I put down here one, two, three. So there's three of those things. It's pretty long, kind of like with that. Just seems like it should go sooner, but it's the way it is. It's kind of a lot of, a lot of lyrics. And then um, I think on the recording, on the third one, I just did something different just mentally to kind of know that it was then coming up to the C part. So instead of doing the D and the E7 here on the last, the third A part, I think I just did it the D and the E here, like I'm kind of just playing the top strings of like the 10th and 12th fret. So you might hear that in the recording. Right, instead of like, or, okay, so anyways, minor detail. Um, and then, yeah, after that third B part, when you do the, I kind of sometimes do that, because it do doesn't go into the A part, it goes into the C part, which is kind of a breakdown. So, we'll kind of do that, and then, and then it's, a, it's similar to the intro, it's like a bass, Alex does his bass thing. Something like that, I think. Oh, on the on the intro and also this part, if you want to kind of play some atmospheric stuff, it's usually just like A and F, basically. I just maybe play some top strings like A and F, and sometimes I'll hold like the delay on, so it just kind of does this like, like continuous delay, real soft. You know, you can definitely kind of mess around with those parts where it's, you're adding some ambient kind of cool noises. Um, in the recording, there's obviously like like some synth and stuff going on. Uh, so then it's like the same kind of thing as the intro with the bass and like cymbals and stuff. And then Justin will do a drum fill. And then the C part, it speeds up. And then um, I actually put the, keep the phaser on for this part as well. And it's, I just play kind of bar chords like A minor, C, D, and then it's C, and then so that last one's just C, and then um, so I counted through that was seven times, I believe. <laughs> I have to go listen to it. The first time is just kind of intro. A porpoise starts singing. She sings twice. The second, third one, and then then Zach's riff's gonna start, and he does uh, kind of four measures for the riff. Kind of two are, are like the same, and then the other two are, I think are slightly different. So um, you're just pl playing the same thing the whole time, with the exception being the last one, of Z which is the seventh one, which is the last part of Zach's riff. I played this in the recording. Instead of kind of strumming it, I did like kind of a short a cutoff, so it's like, And then it slows down, so so it's so there's a I should mention there's a slowdown on that last seventh one, and I'm doing these kind of like cut off cut off chords. So it's, mute it, C. I'll just play it here. You can play it there, obviously, and then D, and then we're in. It's the C to E part where it slows down, so. So you kind of want to either whatever way you hit the E, just that's where it's like going to really draw out. And then it goes into this really slow uh, portion with the same chord progression. And I play that just with the open chords. I'm kind of doing a lot of arpeggios. This one's kind of tricky because it's like the tempo is always different when we play it, you know? <laughs> you know how that goes. And it's a real big slowdown. So you just kind of got to watch Justin and um, keep with his, keep with his, you know, ride rhythm. Um, and I just try to like click every weird pedal, like delay, you know, the phaser's still on, 
whatever tremolo, just to get all kind of weird atmospheric sounding and then just kind of C, you know, and then D, C, E, and then I think it does that twice, so does it again real slow, just kind of be all spacey and like effects driven and um, yeah, definitely a cool ending and then it just will like end. There's, I think there's a, uh, on the last one, um, I didn't really play it in the recording, but you can, that last E one, I think it just walks down like back to the A. Uh, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, yeah, so for your parts, it's all just kind of rhythm with this one. So that's cool. Nothing too crazy. And, um, yeah, have fun jamming out.